Hi, Josh here from the St. Louis Science Center with another experiment that you can try at home. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but it is hot outside. So I was just looking at ways to stay cool, and I found one of the best ways to stay cool is water. So we're going to test that out. So all you'll need for this experiment is a hair dryer, a thermometer, some cotton balls, a rubber band, some water, and a stopwatch. So what we're going to do is we're going to first test the hair dryer for about five minutes. So first thing you do, take the cotton balls, put them on your thermometer. Now, if you have a thermometer with the little red thing on it, you're going to want to put the cotton balls right on top of the red thing. So now that I have my cotton balls attached to the bottom of my thermometer, I'm going to uh, first take an initial temperature. So the temperature in here appears to be about 78. So I'm going to record that. And I'm measuring in degrees Fahrenheit. So then you're going to take your hair dryer, blow it at the cotton ball. Now you don't want to blow it too close because then your thermometer will get too hot and it could potentially explode. So we don't want that happening. So keep it about two to three Eh, three to five inches away and we'll turn it on and every minute we're going to record the temperature. Alright, so for the past three minutes I've taken a temperature on the minute. So I was watching my stopwatch at one minute, took a temperature, two minutes, three minutes. So now that I've recorded the temperature of a normal thermometer with just a cotton ball on it. Now we're going to get those cotton balls wet. So take your thermometer, stick it in the water, and once again we're going to take our initial temperature. The water is about at room temperature so once again about 78 is where it will start. And now we're going to do this experiment all over again. So once again, I'm going to take my hair dryer about three to five inches away and I'm going to record the temperature every minute except this time with a wet cotton ball. Alright, so it's been three minutes, we did the experiment all over again, except for our cotton balls were wet. And now, take a, take a look at your temperatures, see what happened. So, my first time, when the cotton balls were dry, it started at 78, and after three minutes, it ended at 80. So the temperature went up, which makes sense because hair dryers are a little warm. I had mine on cool, but it actually doesn't matter if you have it on cool or hot as long as you do it once with the cotton ball dry, once with the cotton ball wet. And you do it the same, you have the hair dry in the same setting. So then the second time I did it, once again, I started at 78 because that was room temperature and that's what my water was at. But I ended, after three minutes, the temperature went all the way down to 70. So there was an eight degree temperature drop. And the reason behind that is the water was on there, but remember the water started at 78 degrees. But as water dries, as it evaporates, it takes a lot of heat with it. So that's why we, whenever we sweat, that's what actually keeps us cool, is that water drying. So if you wanted to stay cool this summer, all you got to do, help your body out. Take water and splash it on yourself. So try this experiment at home. Let us know how it works.